Nenek Adoshi joins us now from Mumbai to discuss the significance of this event and what we can expect. So, it is huge. It's, uh, 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 it's actually also a boon for advertisers, but it comes at a price. All of that and more, Rish. Uh, I, you know, I, I sort of grouped it into five things to watch out for. Uh, this Cricket World Cup, Men's World Cup, if I can call it that, because nowadays the Women's World Cup is also a great watch. But like uh, you pointed out, the action starts today. We've got 48 days of games, 10 teams, 10 venues. And if you don't have a ticket to watch it live in person, you can watch it on the official broadcaster. That's Disney Star. So that's the first thing. Number two is the money, as you pointed out, Rish. Now, um, the Cricket World Cup uh, is, is not as monetized an event as, let's say, the FIFA World Cup or the Super Bowl in the U.S., but it definitely draws more eyeballs because of the number of fans in the subcontinent. Uh, and so, therefore, advertising, sponsorship, that's where the big money is. About $1.5 billion in sponsorship and media spent through the year. That's what Bloomberg reported the ICC which is the international cricket body has 20 official sponsors for the tournament ranging from MRF tires a big tire company in India to Mastercard Aramco and several other startups like Dream 11 uh, which is a gaming company that's also uh, you know one of the sponsors there Disney Star the official broadcaster has about 26 sponsors then you've got revenue from ticket sales from all the travel um, you know the food and beverage sales and uh, you've also got the prize money, which is a very meager $10 million, if I can point out, and hasn't changed apparently in about 10 years. But all of this, uh, you know, economists expect will be GDP boosting for India and also maybe slightly inflation boosting. The third point is the politics. Uh, well, you pointed out the first match is in the Narendra Modi Stadium in Gujarat. Well, some of the best matches apparently are being played in that stadium, including the final, which takes place on the 19th of November. And that's caused some political furor, many other members of parliament from across the country saying, but why won't, why aren't you playing in our city or in our stadium? So that's the politics of it. And let's not forget, this Cricket World Cup coincides with the Diwali festival here in India, which is the major festival of the year, and it comes just before uh, several key state elections. So the next month or two are going to be this one big grand circus here in India. The fourth thing, which is the gripe. Now, apparently the yeah. schedule was drawn up very, very late. The tickle sales started very, very late. So many fans are upset that they were not able to plan well in advance to be able to visit, you know, many of the matches that they wanted to be able to view. Uh, and the last bit I wanted to tell you is the transformation. Yeah. Over the course of the next, what, 30, 40 days, uh, you're going to see one billion cricket experts sprout across the subcontinent who are going to bore you to death with how they could have played that shot better or fielded that delivery better. So if you're not a cricket fan like me, just find a dark corner to hide in. <laughs> I'll be with you on that corner, America. But it's crazy, right? What? A 10-second advertising slot during the match costs up to 3 million rupees. That's 40% increase from what we saw back in 2019. And you gotta wonder who's who's willing to pay for this sort of airtime, right? Rich? I, I guess also, I mean, it, it depends also on who's playing. I mean, you're going to be playing, you know, very little, I guess, if you had Bangladesh versus uh, Ireland or something like that, uh, <laughs> or UAE and Ireland. Or, or, but you know, then you've got the biggest game in terms of eyeballs, at least, which is Pakistan, India. So it must vary hugely the amount uh, per second or per thirty second. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, like I pointed out, I mean, this is not as well monetized as, let's say, the FIFA World Cup or the Super Bowl. But yes, it is the biggest sporting event, at least in this region, in the subcontinent. Um, you know, and it draws, yeah. at, what, three times the number of eyeballs if you look at both broadcasting as well as digital views.